I'm going to talk about Tesla's new semi-truck that they just revealed. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the advent of sustainable transportation by bringing compelling mass market electric cars to the market as soon as possible. And they made a huge stride towards their mission in July when they launched the Model 3, which is their cheapest vehicle yet, with a starting price of $35,000. But Tesla wants to expand their business further and enter the freight truck market. That's right, on November 16th, Elon Musk revealed Tesla's new semi-truck. Does the truck live up to the Tesla brand and push the boundaries of innovation? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover topics such as space exploration, robotics, and all things future. So if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. All right, so before we get started, let's take a quick look at some other companies who are developing electric freight trucks. Unlike when Tesla entered the all-electric car market, they will face a lot of competition from other companies who are producing electric semi-trucks as well. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks, and tell them the bone sent you. Thanks, Jay. All right, there's Nikola, based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and their trucks, the Nikola 1 and 2, which are electric and hybrid fuel cell hybrids. The Nikola 1 and 2 have a futuristic design. They will have a range of 1,200 miles or over 1,900 kilometers per charge. They'll also have 1,000 horsepower and will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour or 96 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds compared to diesel trucks which take 60 seconds. Nikola will be partnering with automotive supply leader Bosch to design and build their powertrains. Nikola hopes to launch their trucks by 2021. Next Next is Daimler. Daimler is the parent company of Mercedes-Benz and is a multinational automotive giant headquartered out of Germany. Last month, Daimler announced their electric heavy-duty E-Fuso Vision 1 with a range of 217 miles or 350 kilometers per charge and hauling capacity of 11 tons. Due to the Vision 1's range, Daimler is targeting regional intracity distribution application opposed to long hauls. And they're especially targeting countries, states, and cities that plan to become emission-free in the near future. Daimler hopes to launch eFusion Vision 1 in the next few years as compatibility infrastructure expands enough to support the vehicle. Then there's Swedish startup Einride and their all-electric truck, the Teapot. The Teapot is the most futuristic of them all, in my opinion, and they completely got rid of the driver's cab because it will be completely driverless or it will be driven by remote control. The Teapot will have a hauling capacity of 20 tons with a range of 124 miles or around 200 kilometers per charge. Einride already signed a deal with Swedish grocery chain Lidl to launch a pilot program with the T-Pods by the second half of 2018. And there are also six other companies mentioned in the Mashable article that I got this information from. So if you want to read more, the link to the article is the first link in the sources section in the description. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Tesla truck. Elon Musk revealed Tesla's truck at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. The truck will be fully electric with a hauling capacity of 40 tons and a range of 500 miles or over 800 kilometers per charge. It will be powered by four electric motors, which are the same kind that powers the Model 3. At 258 horsepower per motor, the Tesla truck will have 1032 horsepower. Fully loaded, the truck will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 or 96 kilometers per hour in 20 seconds. According to Musk, on a 100 mile or 160 kilometer trip, Tesla's truck will only cost $1.26 per mile to operate compared to $1.51 for diesel trucks. The truck is made out of carbon fiber and Musk said that the design will make the truck more aerodynamically efficient than some sports cars. The interior of the cab is both sleek and huge, measuring 2 meters tall. Tesla put the driver's seat in the middle as close to the front as possible for maximum visibility. It has two 15-inch touchscreens, one on each side of the steering wheel, so you can view navigation information and blind spots. The truck has radars built into it along with numerous cameras to support its enhanced autopilot feature, which allows it to drive itself on the highway, staying in the lane and a safe distance from surrounding vehicles. The truck will also have built-in connectivity and will integrate directly with a fleet's management system to support routing and scheduling and remote monitoring. 
Tesla plans to build a mega charger network to recharge the trucks. The mega chargers are more powerful than the supercharger network that are used on their cars today. It's not clear when we'll start seeing these mega chargers, but my guess is that they'll build them on demand at first depending on customer routes, but we'll have to wait and see. So Musk said that production of the Tesla truck will begin in 2019, and perhaps we'll hear news of some companies ordering some of these trucks leading up to that. There are some industry experts that are skeptical about whether trucking companies will be interested in all electric trucks with their current range of 500 miles and below. But I hope there are enough customers for Tesla to gain momentum from this and continue to innovate. But I want to hear from you. Do you think the Tesla truck will be successful? Or do you think the range and charge time needs to improve before it catches on? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.